Okay, Joy, you ever make a cake in a crock pot? Until today, I have not. Mm -hmm. But it's National Peanut Butter Day. Right. And you ran across the coolest recipe. I'm super impressed. I thought it was pretty cool. It's very impressive. Uh -huh. It's a chocolate peanut butter cake that you actually do in your slow cooker. Yep. And I can't wait to try it. We're going to finish it off in just a second. But first, we're going to show you all the ingredients, how we made it. So here you go. These are the ingredients for the slow cooker peanut butter cake. This is super easy. This is a chocolate cake mix. You add a little bit of water, about three eggs, some peanut butter, of course, and a little bit of butter. Then on top of that, you have a nice, delicious peanut butter glaze that has, you guessed it, peanut butter, a little bit of milk, and some powdered sugar. But wait, there's more. There are toppings that go with this also. So you need some hot fudge sauce, because why not? And some <laughs> crunched up peanut butter cups. Yep. Now, you pour the cake part into your slow cooker, butter it or pam it a little bit on the bottom yes. so it doesn't stick. Yep. And then you just set this in there, you shut the lid, and you cook it, was it on high? It was, you, you cook it on high for, well, it's about an hour and 45 to two hours, but about at about one and a half hours, you want to check it, do the old toothpick test okay. to make sure it is, and then just kind of go from there. Now look at this cake. This yep. is a nice fluffy cake. It's a little bit, got a little bit of a dimple in the middle, but I mean, you know, that's, that's just a well for more. That's the buttery yes, goodness. Yes, that's, that's the place where the, the peanut butter will live in the middle. Yeah. This is super impressive. It is, and you know, what you do is you take it, you take the ceramic insert, mm -hmm. you know, at that cooked time, right? you put it on a cooling rack and let it cool for about 15 minutes or okay. so. Mm -hmm. Then you mix that glaze up. And that's what you're doing. This is the glaze now. right here. And it, it's peanut butter and it's powdered sugar and milk. That's all it is. And then you just kind of spread it all over this thing, all right? So I'm going to try and do this. Now, you know, I'll oh do the best gosh. I can. Yes. <laughs> This is what I mean. And you get that well of peanut buttery glaze oh, goodness in the Tom, middle. This is such a winner. I okay. love that you found this. Look. And oh, this is again, brilliant. These, these are one of these things that I always claim. If I can make it, you can make it. Look at that. Just kind of let it drizzle over the edges, okay? That's stunning. And this so is a slow around. cooker cake. Yeah. This is ridiculous. You kind of put it together, you know, and it, the longest thing to do is, of course, wait for the cake to cook in the slow cooker. Sure. Yeah. Now. And now. it's only a couple hours, so it's not like a huge deal. There yeah. are two more steps here. Mm -hmm. And that is, of course, you get the fudge. Of course. All right. You do. Now you can heat this up in the microwave. Let's hope I heated it up enough, but we're going to do this kind of thing now. We're just going to drizzle some fudge around. That's perfect. Yeah, just kind of. And this is the fudge sauce. Yeah. Um, you could always do just a syrup, but why wouldn't you do the fudge sauce? You know, yeah. and you just heat it up a little bit, and it gets nice and saucy. And you know, you could get all fancy and swirl the knife around and make a nice little design in it if you me. wanted to. Not you, because it doesn't really matter. No, and see, I, it, it's. I probably should have heated it up a little bit more, the, no, the fudge. You did just right. But, you know, it's okay, now you got glops of fudge instead of maybe a line or two of fudge. And, okay, if that's not good and peanut buttery enough for you, you have the final touch the piece de resistance, and that is you get some of the mini peanut butter cups, and what the recipe calls for is 26 of them. And you just cut them in half, so you've got 52 pieces there. Yeah. And now you just kind of drop them on there. I'll be done with my drizzling here. Put on as kind of, many as you want. Yeah, just drop them all over. Oh, yeah. Wow. And you can put some on the side to decorate the cake. You know how the great chefs do this. Put a little piece or two. This is fantastic. Now here's the thing. We like to put recipes on our Facebook page, and we are going to, but because we need a photo of it, yes. if you will just hang on one second. Snap it a picture. While I snap a little photo for yes. our Facebook page. Okay. Um, this is this looks absolutely incredible. Does that look good or what? It looks incredible. It does. All right. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, tell me when you get that, that done. That is all Tom, right. this is right. such a winner. Okay. And I'm going to spin, spin it, it around too. Bring it on. So you can see this side because that may be the. Because we were watching it. Okay. We're going to cut this and eat this in the goodbye. So stick around. Ozarks Live will be right back.